uh, what do you think uh, we are going to make as uh, an impact in Africa and uh, Asia and uh, the Pacific with, uh, with this project on social protection? There's lots of data out there mm -hmm. and this project is introducing different tools to analyze this data and make use of it. Uh -huh. Everyone is talking about evidence-based policy making um, using data at national level, sub-national level. There's demand for this from member states. There's data also out there, but uh, the project is really filling the gap where uh, there's not enough uh, analysis and informing existing policies or new policies with, uh, with the said evidence on the vulnerable populations, how social protection can help, uh, the role of social protection targeting African and Asian Pacific countries. So I think that's where we are really uh, going to have an impact uh, in, in all across the uh, regions. All right. Okay. Fantastic. Um, and for you, as a non-project uh, uh, country, I think this is the first time you are participating uh, in this. Uh, what do you hope to get uh, from this uh, meeting and from the project uh, going uh, forward? I know Malawi is uh, one of uh, the global champions for the Global Accelerator on Social Protection. So what do you think uh, Malawi can benefit from this kind of uh, intervention with the UN? Yeah. Yeah, this workshop, has, I think it has come at the uh, opportune time. This is a time that we've just launched our national social protection policy, uh, which spans from 2024 to 2029. So um, we have shifted uh, our focus from the social assistance to social protection. And also uh, the policy has also been reoriented um, on the life cycle approach actually recognizing that uh, people uh, face different vulnerabilities, different risks at mm -hmm. every stage of their life. So our policy is focusing on that, but the challenge maybe that we would have is also to measure the impact. And uh, uh, attending this uh, very crucial uh, uh, workshop and also Malawi as the champion for the Global Accelerator on Social Protection and Jobs, uh, for just uh, transformative initiatives. I think it is a plus for us. We're here to share our experiences and also uh, some takeaways that will enable us to realign our, uh, our social protection systems. We need uh, strong systems to ensure that we expand on the coverage as well as of the efficacy of the interventions. And I think this is just a right platform that we can learn from. We are undergoing challenges uh, with uh, financing for, for social protection. Do you think uh, this project is going to, to help uh, to contributing, addressing uh, that uh, challenges that most of the countries that we are supporting are, are experiencing? I think the tools that are being developed by this project are going to help the ministries in charge of social protection, like yourself, mm -hmm. a lot by giving you the evidence to go defend social protection with the ministries of finance, uh, which are approving the budget. Because then with the tools of this project, you will be able to show the impact of social protection mm -hmm. on poverty, how it reduces poverty, how it reduces inequality, the multiplier impact of social protection. It's a time where there's uh, fiscal space are limited. So we need to make the most uh, of what is available and we need to spend smart, uh, right? We need to um, uh, make sure that every uh, penny spent has uh, uh, impact, especially on vulnerable groups, so that no one is left behind. I think the tools that we've seen uh, developed and uh, throughout the project yeah. being demanded mm -hmm. by the countries, it's going to give that leverage okay. to ministers. All right, all right, fantastic. So then uh, Malawi, like I said, is not uh, yet uh, a, a member of this project, but truly we look forward to working with you as uh, as we go forward. And Selsha, I think we do have a lot of work going forward until 2027 to support our member states scale up social protection policy.